Recent research indicates that a well-maintained landscape can increase the value of a home by as much as 15%. On the other hand, a poorly maintained landscape can lead to costly water damage to the structure of the house. Installing a drainage system to prevent water damage is less costly than repairing the water damage itself. Given the destructive effect that water has on house structures and landscapes, every landscape needs a proper drainage system. A drainage system has three major phases, collection, conduction, and discharge. The two most widely used components of the discharge phase are the pop-up emitter and the flow well. A pop-up emitter can be used to discharge the water over a street curb for cases when curb drilling is not allowed. It can also be used to discharge water on turf where the runoff can be absorbed back into the subsurface. A pop-up can also be used to cover curb holes to prevent rodents and other small animals from entering the pipe system. A flow well is a manufactured dry well that can be used to retain water runoff within the property, allowing it to percolate back into the soil. As water flows over rooftops, paved surfaces, and garden beds, it picks up various pollutants, including oil, grease, chemicals, metals, and bacteria. By discharging the water into the street, pollutants are carried through the city's main storm drainage system and into local ponds, lakes, and oceans. Many cities have required that stormwater be retained within the property to reduce pollution of its resources. Retention of stormwater was traditionally done through a dry well, a pit filled with gravel or crushed stone into which water is routed, allowing it to leach back into the soil. However, a traditional dry well the size of a flow well can only retain about 25 gallons of water. The flow well is not filled with gravel or crushed stone, so it can retain 50 gallons of water. For a traditional dry well to retain the same amount of water as the flow well, it has to be more than twice the size of a flow well. This means more than twice the digging and more than twice the cost than a flow well. When installing a flow well, locate an area in the landscape where you can dig a hole at least four feet in diameter and at least three feet deep. The location of the flow well must be at least 10 feet away from the foundation of the house. Begin by digging the hole for the flow well and the trenches for the pipe. The flow well comes packaged in a box with three side panels and a lid. Before assembling the three side panels of the flow well, knock out the ports that will be needed to leach water to the soil. Strategically knock out the ports needed for the water to leach in the direction away from the house. Also consider the soil type. For sandy soils, you may need fewer ports than for heavier soils that do not absorb water as easily. After the ports have been knocked out, cut out the large hole for the pipe connection. Finally slide the three panels together and place the lid of the flow well in place. Fill the bottom of the hole with at least four inches of gravel or crushed stone. Place the flow well in the ground and connect the pipes into the large holes in the side walls. It is recommended that a surface drain be installed on the lid of the flow well as a safety outlet for the rare occasion that the flow well can overflow. Make sure that the top of the surface drain is level with the top surface of the landscape. Wrap filter fabric around the flow well to prevent sand and debris from entering the system. Once the flow well is in place, fill the surrounding area around the flow well with at least one foot of gravel or crushed stone. Finally, bury the flow well to a minimum of eight inches deep and finish off the landscape. The water retention capacity of a flow well system can be increased by connecting multiple flow wells together or stacking up to four flow wells on top of each other. Determining the number of flow wells to use is easily done by using the flow well calculator which can be found at ndspro.com. In addition to serving as a cost-effective alternative to a dry well, the use of a flow well can significantly reduce the amount of trenching in a typical drainage system installation. 
Drainage needs often occur in areas where the path to the street for the discharge of water is not direct or has various obstacles such as a patio, swimming pool, or walkways. In such cases, the piping system for drainage can be complicated and difficult to install. The amount of trenching in such situations can be significantly reduced by connecting the drainage system to a flow well only 10 feet away from the house structure. With a complete line of drainage products, NDS has a solution for all your drainage needs. NDS, the nationwide leader in landscape drainage products.